Okay, we're standing inside the diking area right now. This is actually has a geo type membrane underneath it. And as we can see the standing water, that shows us that the there's no tear or rip in the liner. So this is actually a good thing. Before we actually decide to go ahead and pump the, the water outside over the earth berm, is we're gonna go ahead and inspect the water and make sure that we don't see and visually see a sheen on top of the water. You might see like a rainbow type color or uh, a, an oily residue on top, okay? So we'll inspect that. If we were to happen to see oil on, the, on top of the water, we want to take sorbent pads, place them on top of the water, try to soak up pretty much as, as, most, as, uh, as much as we possibly can. Uh, we don't see any oily sheen, so we're gonna go ahead and perform a drain. This is our typical sump pump. This is what we're gonna use to extract the water out of the diking area. As you can see, it's got a, a perforated screen right here. We wanna go ahead and place this right here to the storm water drain. <clears throat> Periodically, we want to check this, make sure that the screen is not uh, plugged up. We'll drop that straight down into it. And we'll take the hose and go ahead and uncoil it and run over the, the uh, earth berm diking over here. Okay, before making this connection, we want to go ahead and make sure we inspect the, the cord on this. Uh, since this is going to be around water, we also want to make sure that this is also connected to a GFCI type circuit breaker. And in addition to this, we want to make sure that the ground uh, prong is, is attached to the cord. We're going to go and make the connection. And by doing this, the pump is now turned on. There's no switch. And we should be pumping out. To verify that we're actually extracting water, we'll go down to the end of the hose and, uh, and see how much uh, volume we're pumping out. If there's nothing coming out, we'll have to make sure that the screen on the bottom of the uh, sump is, is clear and free of debris. Okay, we have uh, adequate flow coming out of the hose right now, so uh, at this point we're going to go ahead and complete the whole drain. And uh, we also want to want to check the depth of the water in here, make sure we don't run the sump pump dry. Uh, that could actually ruin the uh, motor, and let's monitor that. We're going to continue while the uh, pump is, uh, is removing all the water out of the diking. We're going to continue to rake up all the leaves and try to remove as many combustible material outside of the diking as possible. So we'll just grab a rake and continue to rake up. And we'll dispose of all this into a plastic garbage bag and try to siphon out all the, uh, the rock and debris and take uh, care not to scrape down too far and come in contact with the diking as not to puncture it. Once we're done raking up, we'll go ahead and take the, the leaves and try to sift out all the rocks as possible. We don't want to remove the rocks from the, from the diking area. And we'll go ahead and just place that, this into a nice, uh, good, sturdy bag <coughs> where we can dispose of the leaves in a... Uh, mulch pile and just remove outside the facility. Okay, we're all done with our uh, cleanup on, on uh, breaking up our leaves. We're also done with the cleanup of water. And as you can see, the facility is clean. And what we'll have to uh, do now is just go ahead and pick up the hose, reel it up, and store it to its proper place.